what makes Sao Paulo unique and how does the circular economy help tackle or, or help achieve some of the city's priorities? Okay. Sao Paulo is a dynamic, nervous and cosmopolitan city, which is rich in its line with the diversity of our people. This diversity makes us the beating heart of business and culture in our country. And so we are also continuously searching for and open to innovative solutions and the reinvention of processes. Last year, we joined 50 global leaders and signed a statement in support of a circular economic response to the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. Besides becoming a signatory of the foundation's joint statement, Mayor Bruno Covas also made a second joint commitment promoted by C40, recognizing that back to business as usual is no longer possible. We want to honor his legacy by adopting concrete measures, building a transition to a more sustainable model, more resilient and equitable future. This, the city of Sao Paulo is elaborating its first economic development plan, which will bring among its guidelines initiatives towards the recovery from COVID-19 with the perspective of sustainability, valuing the economic vocations of each region in the city. The plan is aligned with the Climate Action Plan, just launched last month, reinforcing our commitment to a zero carbon and circular economy across all areas of the municipality. In addition, last month, we took an important step towards localizing the sustainable development goals in the city of Sao Paulo. The 2030 municipal agenda has sustainable goals, sustainable targets adapted to Sao Paulo's reality produced as a result of a multi-stakeholder dialogue, including civil society and total transparency. This novel document seeks to guide the planning, the budgeting and management of municipal instruments until 2030, bring sustainable development as a benchmark for Sao Paulo's municipal policies. The agenda, we will ensure concrete measures that go beyond any one political term by supporting the necessary transition to a more sustainable, low carbon, inclusive and healthy economy for people and the planet. Thank you, Marta. And, and I, can, I can hear from you that you see in Sao Paulo the circular economy as, as a key way of achieving your climate agenda and also the sustainable development uh, goals. Um, following up, I would like um, you to tell us a bit more about some examples of uh, things that are already happening in Sao Paulo in relation to the circular economy. Oh, do we have the plastic renewed, the new plastic economy global commitment received, recently renewed and expanded. And that was crucial for us to advance with municipal laws that prohibit the use of plastic straws and establishment in the city of Sao Paulo. What I think is important, and when we have a, an idea or a, a, a goal that we, and uh, if, we have, if we have the need to have a law, Sao Paulo is doing that. If we need the help of a law, we, we approve this law. And so, but I think the most important thing is to the consciousness. I think Wayne talked talk about that, consciousness and sharing. Uh, and thus you, you do it through, uh, through work in schools, to work with young people, to work in Brazil, uh, poor. Uh, most of uh, uh, people see, watch TV, novels, and you can introduce that values. And that is what's going to, to change the world. Also, this is the idea of uh, the big revolution will be on conception. I'm sure of that. But that is getting into people's head. And that's the important thing. Because it's not one thing only. It's not only circular economy. The government has to be everywhere. It has to be at schools, has to be at the law has to be 
uh, doing it, uh, giving its message everywhere. I saw uh, that the last years in Brazil, mainly Sao Paulo, a lot of change on that. And mainly because of the Amazon, that was uh, in the newspapers and the news all day long. And that brought consciousness to the people, people who couldn't care less about the Amazon. Amazon was there safe with India, but that was not so, it was not that way. And then we realized that the Amazon being devastated as it is, is going, it's already bringing uh, results, horrible results, not only for the world, but for our state of Sao Paulo, because we have less water now. And everything is interligated. It's not the Amazon, it's not the problem of the world only. It's a problem of us Brazilians. And then the, this consciousness was brought because of the devastation of Amazon. And the, so people start to talk. And now people that didn't have an idea about what the environment means and the importance of environment for our everyday life. Today, we, can, we have a, a very complicated problem of energy here because of water. And why? Because of the Amazon. And so uh, that's what I think.